greens, all the way out of green. So it's not just greens, it's gonna keep on expanding the hue. And if you think about this, if you look at a hue wheel, you got the green on there. Um, at first it's taking a you know, relatively thin slice of the green pie, and then it is expanding that out to grab more and more colors around it. So if you went far enough, if you could do a full 360, you would catch all the colors. I'm sure it doesn't do that because that would be kind of pointless, but it will expand out to expand to grab things larger than just green, so getting into the yellows and brown hues and so on that it'll expand out to. But you don't really need to think about it. You don't need to know about that. All you got to do is grab the little range slider and go, okay, I want kind of that level of greens. Now, if it starts to, let's say I really want to get all the greens in here. And if we look at the scene, we clearly have greens. I'm just going to kind of point to show. We've got greens there. We got darker greens in here, um, even darker greens over here. But as I take my little uh, range slider and I drag it up, we're not getting all of the greens. So think about it like this. Remember, I talked about this slice of pie. Pie. You get the hue wheel, and let's just say that the entire range of green, let's say, is here. Let's just, for the sake of argument, here's everything that could be considered green, green-ish. And your point, that circle that you've dragged, happens to fall, not right in the middle, but happens to fall somewhere over here. Okay, so here's my green, but I've started with a point that's here. I need like a third hand. Start with a point that's there. <laughs> did it. Start at the point that's there. So now I'm taking this slice and I'm starting to expand it out. So if I want to get all my greens, right, but I've started way there, come on you, way there in the slice of greens, and I start expanding it out, I'm going to get beyond the range of greens before I get to the edge of this side of greens. Make sense? So if in this situation, well, I'm not quite getting all the greens and I'm already starting to get into other colors, move the point, move the selection point. It is, as you can see here, it is on quite a light shade of green. So, and as I move that around, you've, I've, I've expanded the range quite a bit. We're getting into the kind of browns of the giraffe's forehead here, because um, that makes sense, right? Brown's pretty close to green on the color wheel. So that's not quite good enough. So let's take this down a little bit and then start to move this around and see if we can find somewhere else to land the green where it's going to get more of the green and not so much of the giraffe. Now, if you can't quite get it, that's perfectly fine. What we'll do is take multiple versions of this and expand out to capture multiple more narrow ranges of green. So lots of different approaches that you can do to do this here. So we're going to take, let me bring this down just a little bit. And let's say that I want to make my greens more saturated. So I position this into a rough position. Let's go to saturation and take my saturation up, 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 up. And let's take the exposure. Let's take the exposure down. Let's take that, darken that down a little bit. So now I have darkened and oversaturated my greens. I go back to my range in there and I go, okay, I can bring that up or down just to see what that looks like. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit less and so on. Now, as I said, I could do another adjustment. So let's do that. Let me just add a second one here. So I'm going to back up. You'll see up there at the top, it says color and one. There's a number one on there. Tell me that's number one that I've added. Um, notice, let me go zoom back in. You notice just underneath that, we see the color dropper again, and there's a plus in the top right corner of that. Plus to add another color sample. So I hit plus, I add another one, and now let's add a different shade of green in here. Let's kind of go for a little bit more here. And let's take that range up a little bit as well. And kind of drag that around a little bit. And maybe that'll be good. And let's try his exposure's already down. What we're gonna do is we're take the saturation up a little bit and we can start to kind of play with that range a little bit. Now, this may or may not be achieving what you want it to achieve. And you may be finding, well, it's not quite, you know, I'm not quite getting, let's go back to the other one. I'm not calculating the range that I want in here. Maybe I may need to add more of them um, or Instead of fiddling around adding a whole bunch of different points on here, there's actually a way to limit where this is applied. So let me go back and delete number two. So let's go to number two and scroll down to the bottom of this and you see there's a reset and a delete. I will just hit delete, get rid of number two. So now we're back into one. Looking at number one, again, my range on here, uh, bring up the range, is selecting, let's just say I'm happy with the kind of greens that it's selecting on the right hand side. And even on the left, it's looking pretty good, but clearly I do not want Mr. Giraffe selected in that. So instead of messing around with a bunch of different points and trying to get just that right range of green here and just the right range of green there, I can say this range of green that it's got here is great, but I want to ignore the rest of the picture. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.